Today we're going to be looking at Outcast, a new beginning. This is a new open world game that released for Xbox, PlayStation and PC a couple of days ago. I'm running this game on Xbox Series X and as always I'll be looking at this game's graphics, performance and gameplay. So let's give it a try. Welcome back guys, so uh, let's run the game and let's check uh, what the loading speed is like. Uh, this is Outcast, a new beginning, a new open world game that released a couple of days ago. Uh, by the way, I would like to thank Did Go Good, Did Good PR for providing me with a review code for this game. And um, yeah, this is an open world game. Um, I think this is a sequel to a game that released many, many years ago for PC. So uh, this game has never been on consoles before. And um, yeah, I mean, there's kind of like a, a lot of people, a big fan base of the original game. And uh, I must say that despite the fact that this is rather double-A kind of game, the graphics looks really good. And uh, I'm not sure what kind of game engine it uses, but you know, I'm actually getting uh, this uh, sort of a Pandora uh, kind of vibe from uh, this game. I mean, style-wise, right? I mean, it, this is like an alien world with like you know a lot of um, you know different environments and that kind of stuff by the way this is an open world game sure but at the very beginning of the game uh, it's uh, very limited in a sense where you can go as you can see it will te teleport you back if you keep on moving in the wrong direction so um uh, beginning is rather um linear uh, because you just have to progress with a story a little bit at, the, at first. Um, I've done some things in the game in the game already. I've got a gun. I've got this jetpack sort of thing here. So let's just continue. Um, graphics, like I said, looks good. This is a performance mode. There's quality mode too, but really, there's not much of a difference when it comes to graphics. So let's actually uh, switch the mode. Um, I think you can do it on the fly. So as you can see, um, we are running this in performance mode. Let's switch it to quality mode, apply settings. And um, as you can see, the game looks pretty much the same. Yes, it looks sharper, of course, but then the game locks uh, to 30 frames per second. Um, and I'll talk about the performance mode too and the 60 frames per second because it's not perfect either. So I guess it's it. I guess it all depends what you like more. Um, you know, if you are more into uh, resolutions and a sharper image, I mean, quality mode, you know, will do you just fine. And um, you know, actually, I really like the style of this game. It really looks good. It really looks good. And uh, I'm I'm also super. Um, glad that performance mode looks really good too because sometimes you get these games where they really um, uh, limit uh, what you can see on the screen um, I mean they just uh, cut off some of the graphics uh, settings too but in this particular case with this game I mean everything looks kind of same-ish um, when it comes to these modes right I mean uh, let's switch back to performance mode because that's the that's oh wrong button sorry that's my preferred way of playing games so there we go performance mode and uh, yes it's not as sharp as the quality mode but really it still looks really good I'm actually running this game on on a 4k monitor and it looks really good even from up close right I mean there is a little bit like, um, if you look close, um, very closely, if you look at the actual main character, you will see some 
artifacting here and there, especially on the hair, but really during gameplay, you're probably not really going to notice, right? So the you know graphics is as good as as impressive as in quality mode, in my opinion. Not as sharp, but still. Okay, so let's talk about performance because that's the only thing really when it comes to this game that uh, kind of worries me a little bit, but hopefully by the time you play this game, uh, you know, they will improve performance. Uh, now, just wanted to be clear, they improved performance in this game anyway, because uh, when I first played it, like, um, literally on a, uh, I think even like shortly before uh, the game launched, um, you know, the performance was actually worse and so looks like they actually improved performance um, You know a few days later and That's actually a good sign. So, you know, hopefully by the time you play this game uh, It will be even better now. Obviously, it's not perfect. It has uh, some hiccups um, What I um, there was a little bit, you know, there's way less uh, stuttering, there's way less, um, um, there we go, there's some stutters over here, there's way less um, screen tearing, right? I mean, you know, there was a lot of screen tearing at first, but now it's kind of gone, I guess. Also, if you've got VRR, uh, monitor or TV that supports VRR, go and do it, and you won't get any frame um, uh, screen tearing at all. Uh, Cutscenes are actually locked to 30 frames per second, so uh, yeah, that's what it is. And uh, so, I, as you can see, like if we get into like more dense areas, it's not perfect 60, but it's actually. Uh, so I really do hope that they'll fix it, but it's still better than uh, 30 frames per second. In my personal opinion, guys, like I said, if you want, um, you know, steady frames and you don't have your RTV, uh, I mean, to be honest with you, I would even go and play performance mode um, without VRR, to be honest with you. But um, but that's the way I am, really. Um, so uh, hopefully they will, you know, improve uh, the performance anyway. Okay, where should I go? I think somewhere up there. Let's go up. Yeah, but like I said, they they improved performance big time anyway. I think I should have gone there, or maybe not. Maybe I, I could use my scanner to look for Nemet. I've never been here before, so adventure awaits, I guess. Yeah, performance is not perfect, but nah. no, that's not the one. Can you help me? That's all. Have a good one. Ooh, no, sorry. I didn't want to kill anyone. So yeah, you've got a gun, you can shoot things, obviously not necessarily in this village, right? But looks like there's no... Um, they not, that don't get them angry. Also, you can use melee and you can use um, that jetpack and also... forgot which button it is. Oh yeah, you've got this shield, so you can shield yourself from... Not these villages, obviously, uh, villagers, villagers, but okay, I think I need to go somewhere else. So, uh, can I jump off this thing? Let's try it. Hey, look at him. Yeah, I, I really like the graphics, really. I mean, it may be a little bit simplistic. I mean, like. But still, like, there's so much going on, like, the art style, like, uh, there's still so many details damage. here that I really like it. Sorry to bother, but... Yeah, let's just skip it, because why not? Take care. Where 
and go. All done. That's a nice jump. Hello, Shanna. You return. Listen. Oh, amazed. Look. We. That's. You. Yeah, yeah. Healing. Can you heal? Okay, I've got a new objective. I gotta go now. See ya. Slay to Lias. I spoke with the Shamaz of Mia. Nemet, is he willing to help? Yeah, under one condition: that I turn their Dialka back on. You will need to recover its core that was stolen by the invaders. They keep it in a nearby base. You've been there. It's too dangerous for the Talans. Our weapons cannot match their firepower. I can show you where it is located. I'm on it. Thanks, Lias. Where's that? Okay, let's go then. Uh, this way, I think. Not this way for sure. Hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, guys, so, um, yeah, that's the game. It's, um... So far, I had actually quite a lot of fun with this game, to be honest with you. Um, uh, can't really say much, too much about the story just yet, but, um... Can I... Okay, I can go through this. I can go this way too, okay. It's dangerous here. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Yeah, I mean, performance is actually not that bad, um, except, Ow, what the hell? I guess, except certain locations, but for the most part, it's actually not too bad. Yeah, let's just keep, skip cutscenes oh, for now. Another vision. Was that the Daoka core Nemet is looking for? Yeah, certain locations have more issues but like yeah so like i said guys um performance still needs improving but but um i'm actually quite optimistic about it because like i said um the game didn't run uh, that well uh, at first and now it's much better so you know looks like they to uh, improving this game, of 
course that's a good good news. Faster. <clears throat> Do I destroy it or what? I need to that should do the trick. Hack it. Uh, here we go. Can I open it now? There you go. Alright, that's another cutscene, uh, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not really going to get into the story. I think it's quite interesting, to be honest with you. Uh, and um, so, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to playing this game a little bit more. Um, hopefully they will improve their performance, but other than that, I don't really have much uh, um, negative to say about this game. It's actually pretty fun uh, for the price and everything. It's not like a you know, AAA big budget kind of game. It offers open world, uh, which, like I said, it opens up a little bit later, but uh, still. So guys, uh, it's available on PlayStation, oh, Xbox Agent? and PC. Give it a try if you like. I think there was a demo available, it's still maybe available, so it's give it a try. Impossible. And yeah, this is uh, Outcast, a new this beginning. And uh, let me know what you think minds. about it, Mess about this game. Did you play it? Clearly, What's your thoughts on it? And I will see you all, guys, in the next one. Take care. Really? Come on, Father. <laughs>